At the beginning of 2016, the Erwin Humer Group bought the Canadian Road Trek, which will allow many European models now to be bought in North America. Now, this is a Road Trek Agile vehicle, which has got some very unusual and interesting features which hitherto have been unknown in Europe. Let's have a quick look inside it so we can see van conversion and as we come in we can see starting off with the kitchen we've got a granite tabletop, fridge, microwave oven. Now the toilet and bathroom looks a bit small but you can close the doors something like this putting the curtain around which gives you a little bit more room bear in mind this is a very small vehicle anyway and you're getting a toilet and a shower in it so you go in there shower curtain comes around bit of hanging space here under the hanging space there's place for your legs because when the bed comes down at the back gives you 190 centimeters of clearance but you'll need somewhere for your legs so there you go there got a telly home entertainment plenty of cabinets but what's really clever about this system is the electronics in it we've got here electric hot plate there's 12 volt air conditioning and so let's come out now and actually have a look at how that all works because there's a model here. This shows the electric setup. So from the alternate al alternator, al alternator to the batteries, there's 400 amps of lithium batteries in it. It also has a system which will start the car engine when the battery get, goes to below a certain level could be for example 12.3 volts and that will recharge it and that will happen anywhere where you don't have to be in the car it starts without a key anything it will not of course allow the engine to run and the car move off somewhere it's just to keep the batteries topped up now uh, this the, the vehicle is pretty expensive it's almost 100,000 euros but the electrics alone to my way of thinking, but must have a value of at least 20% of that entire amount. There's also a solar panel on the roof as well. Now, many people attack American vehicles, particularly Americans, saying that they're nowhere near as good as the ones we have here in Europe. But with that type of technology, I and mean, that to me sounds great. In fact, to me, it sounds too good to be true. And I'm just wondering where the catch is. And uh, when I find out, I shall certainly let you know. Let's have a quick look at the outside, actually, because this, uh, for those into stealth camping, uh, which is a good idea in the United States, because certainly I saw people getting moved on there all the time. It looks like a normal van, you know, maybe it will tell anybody's inside to be quite honest. Okay, there is an external shower, but there's no external points for the fridge as it's electric or uh, for the use of gas. Now, some models do have propane heating and stoves in them. Uh, I've got to say, I find this really, really amazing from the electronics point of view.